with a product hoping to emulate the best part of a favorite breakfast food. Hi, my name is Chris Boy. And I am Tiffany Panhellison. And our company is called Cow Wow Cereal Milk. And we're asking for $250,000 in return for 10% of that company. You know after you have your favorite bowl of cereal and you drink the leftover milk and it tastes like... Heaven? heaven? That's cereal milk. And we've bottled it and made it good for you. So, how do we get kids to try Cow Wow? We tell them a story. Once upon a time, there was a dairy farm that ran out of hay. So the farmers ran straight to the cupboards and fed their cows the only thing they had left, cereal. The next morning, when they milked their cows, the milk tasted sweet, just like the cereals huh? they love to eat. The, the end. end. Without any further ado, Tiffany's gonna hand out some samples, and I'm gonna get out of this ridiculous cow costume. Thank you, Tiffany. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so what Tiffany is handing out to you guys are Fruity Trudy and Chocolate Chip Kathy. And that sugar label is actually wrong. We made a mistake in production. It's only 20 grams of sugar. 14 grams of sugar are actually in a serving of milk. A lot of people don't know that. You're basically selling milk to kids that tastes like the leftover milk in the bottom of a cereal bowl. Yes, sir. What made you think of this? Like, are you major cereal lovers, <laughs> milk lovers? Like. Yes, and yes, and yes. We were like in one of those yogurt places one night, and there's so many flavors, there's like 20 flavors of yogurt. And then we were in the convenience store, and I look and I'm just like, wow, why does milk only have three flavors? Chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. The milk like, in the bottom of the bowl, is that something people like? I actually, I'm a cereal for dinner guy. I love the taste of cereal milk in the bottom of the bowl. Yeah, there's no question, right? I, I everybody look, loves, like you yeah, said, I everybody mean, loves it. It's the best part, part of the bowl. bowl. I always looked at it like it had backwash and drool in it. Why would I want it? Have you tested this with kids? What kind of feedback Absolutely. have you gotten with kids? They love it. There's not a kid that has said that they didn't. Let me ask you something. I'm dairy intolerant, so I didn't, I didn't try it. But Steve, you, how, how yeah, did it I'm, taste? Look, I, you didn't I'm gonna like give it. you a B on the taste. It's not got enough cereal taste. It's not quite sweet enough. It doesn't remind me of my favorite cereals. OK. What are your sales? It's $20,000. Um, we just launched with one SKU. Have you had any reorders on it? Yes, we've had reorders in all of our grocery stores that we were in. And how many are they? Right now, it's eight Bristol Farms, three test stores for Albertsons. And we have actually are one step away from getting a confirmed deal from one of the largest grocers in the country. And how big would that deal be? About $100,000. Which category are you trying to garner sharing? Because this is not a refrigerated product. Flavored milk, $1.5 billion industry. It doesn't need to be refrigerated, but it tastes better when it's cold. Is it refrigerated or not? It is in Albertsons and Bristol Farms, that but it is, doesn't That is a be. whole different story. Getting shelf space in the refrigerated area is extremely expensive, no matter how your cow soup looks. Now, all of a sudden, you're competing with Borden's, who has flavored milk and can easily come out with more. So you're competing with them and all their marketing dollars. And I think that's an uphill battle that is insurmountable. $250,000 isn't even going to get you into the game to compete against those guys, because you don't have a pure differentiation. So for that reason, I'm out. But guys, you know this one packet right here is 24 grams of sugar, 20. and it's 170. That's 20 or 24. Right. It's 170 is a lot. calories. For this it's little carton. Yeah. To yeah. be selling this to kids. I mean, there's an obesity in... issue we already That's have. That's a lot of calories for a kid. We have less sugar than any other flavored milk on the market. It's less sugar than any juice or any soda. When they made a petition to take flavored milk out of schools, there was an incredible backlash from the kids. You know, there was one kid in Ohio that wrote like a five paragraph essay about how they wanted to get milk back in the Do you school. realize how bad you just screwed up? What did I say? Look, you just came in here. We probably never would have known that they tried to take flavored milk out of any school. And you just told us one of the biggest red flags that we probably could have uncovered. Well, the reason I want to tell you is because when they took flavored milk out of schools, the kids started drinking soda and juice. And they demanded, please give us back our, our chocolate milk because they loved it. It's more nutritious. It has nine essential vitamins and nutrients, a ratio of carbs to protein. Um, flavored milk is being marketed as the perfect recovery drink for athletes. Say that again. 
What? Chocolate milk, Got Milk did a $25 million campaign marketing chocolate milk to athletes because the ratio of carbs to protein is actually better it's than not most. Not in my locker room, is it in but your locker room? This product is not positioned <laughs> athletes. This is for well, children. I'm just saying, Peter, so are people going to start dumping Yoohoo on people after they win the <laughs> championship? <laughs> I think it's dangerous to give kids this product. I, I, I don't see any value in it for me. I'm out. We're not trying to get kids to drink something that's unhealthy. There's no carrageenan, there's no artificial flavors, there's no artificial sweeteners. We have the cleanest label in flavored milk. You guys, I don't even like milk. So I have to love and feel passionate about any deal that I do, so I'm out. Chris, I love the concept. I love cereal milk. I love the branding. As I said earlier, it's not quite there in terms of taste. It's a B. I need it to be an A. I don't think your product is there yet. I'm out. In the end, what happens? All cows come back to the pasture <laughs> right here. Right. All right? So, so you're saying you want your udder pulled? No, no, I'm basically <laughs> saying, I'm basically saying it's a very old and established space, a $1.5 billion flavored milk market. I would think to get a valuation here of 2.5 million, you would need a much more concise business plan that could explain to any one of us why you have a hope in hell of getting share. Because I think right now, we're going to get crushed like an udder. I'm very out. Thank you guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good luck. I think the Sharks gave great advice. I mean, they're successful for a reason. But I think maybe they're just a little too old and they just don't get it. Doesn't but mean that we're going to stop from here. We're yeah. just going to take their advice and keep make on our moving. Best. <laughs> make our brand the best.